All right, we got a very special episode today, Jerry. We are on the camera. And only on our third episode, we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, we're, we're testing out some live stuff. Not live, but on camera, video format, we'll just to live. see. And we're going to do this for special episodes until we'll figure out how to do it permanently. But today is a special episode. We have Ian Ustick here, Jerry's here, and we're going to be talking about our very, well, our second film, but our the film that we're most known about, the award-winning Black Sun. And we're going to take you through early stages of development all the way through to the release. And this is the most you're going to hear me talk about it because I'm going to throw it to Jerry and Jerry is going to just completely ask his questions off the whim and just, we're just going to dive deep, deep into it. And most importantly, I can watch myself on TV. Oh yeah. We have a nice little screen going here. For those of you listening on the audio download, it's going to be on YouTube. Uh, you can watch it, the video format. At the end of this, we're actually going to have a watch along with some director's commentary, and we'll be separating that into a separate video as well. So, take it away, Jerry. Great. So, the first thing I definitely want to tackle on how we really met up to do Black Sun is exploiting the Lee's Tavern story of how it all happened. So, I would like you both to explain how that first happened in 2013. I think Joe invited me there. Um, the the <laughs> mythical Joe Valenti once again rears, rears his head up on, on the podcast. Yeah. And only in 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a new record. So, um, so on the third episode, he's yeah. been every single oh, yeah. one of them. He's been every single one of them. <laughs> but, uh, so we, we met up at uh, Lee's Tavern for, uh, I think it was just a get-together, just to like, hey, let's get together, let's have some pizza. Mm-hmm. And Ian and I kind of knew each other a little bit. Like, I met you during the summer, and mm-hmm. you were talking about going away on vacation and stuff and you and me just talked about it and I when we were talking about captain america for some reason and then that ended up yes i actually mm-hmm. remember part of yeah. that mm-hmm. within like the whole conversation that night like that was the the topic that started us did we about. just see the movie or something what year did that oh that was 2013 it wasn't so. out yet it wasn't out no so this, we was, this was post avengers it. this was post avengers when well, did oh that was 2014 that was 2014 yeah okay. but uh you and me met and i told you i was a filmmaker and I remember your eyes like bugging out because I remember you, you were telling me like, oh, I always want to make movies and stuff. Yeah, life got in the way. Oh, yeah. Then, then, <laughs> then real life got in the way. So then um, what happened was was you said you were doing research on stuff on like um, – you because you're a big reader. and uh, the Nazis at that time. Yeah, and I remember I was telling you about the idea I had for Black Sun. And you were like, oh, my God, yeah. The fits and you stuff. and me started talking and we were like – we, we gotta, we gotta get together and like figure this out and right. I actually this. thought in my head I was like, it's not gonna happen mm-hmm. because I was so used to people saying, yeah, let's do this, let's do this, or let's make this movie, and then you get to that point and it doesn't. And happen. just like most ideas in life, they just crash. And it, it only takes one tenth of them to like make things better than what they are. Mm-hmm. But you didn't know. Like I remember I, was, I told you the name that I wanted. You know, Jerry knows this, but I had two other movies pre college. That I did, which are which were which I've mentioned on this podcast at least fifteen times already. That it was uh, I mentioned ha- it once. Yeah, Halloween uh, ripoff, which was uh, the two movies that were called Black Sun, and I wrote those. And then the mythical Halloween Six, which uh, we talked about with Chris Marcianti <laughs> about Halloween Six and about how they took that cult storyline and just totally botched it. And I thought I could do a better job with it. Mm-hmm. And that's literally how it started with that. So yeah, mm-hmm. there you go. Right? Yeah. So the next thing I want to ask about is being that we got to that point already. When did you two really feel like, because I, I felt like between that whole process, you two really linked up and I was just there, obviously. I just didn't give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I got nothing to do on a Friday night. I'll hang up with these Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to know, like, when was that ultimatum for both of you, like, that you wanted to meet up at least once a week? Because that was happening for the time being. I think I, after that day, I texted you and I yeah. said, let's just hang out, hang out. Yeah. And we hung out and you saw that I had a bunch of books I was reading. And then we were talking about the ideas and that kind of became the genesis of this. I, I remember I saw your books and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you, 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 had, I, and you, and you still do. Like, I, I can't, like, I like a guy that reads. I, I can't <laughs> say it enough. When you go in, into his basement and he's got a chair in the corner and he's got 
mount I mean mountains yeah, of just books. <laughs> and they're like, I'm gonna read this, this day, I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna switch over here, and it's like I he I you need like five lifetimes to read all the books that that you I'll have to get through it. <laughs> but yeah, but we started meeting up uh once a week. Mm-hmm. And I remember I started writing and we had an original draft which was a feature which was I think me personally as a filmmaker was eh. It was okay. Right. It wasn't like yeah. the best draft. And I remember. I think, was it the week after we met you and I? Then us three started meeting. Yeah. We yes. And then it became a thing of like. I think December twenty thirteen was when the three of us really started to put our heads together to make this happen. Because I know we released the Indiegogo if uh, March of twenty fourteen. Yeah. But we'll yeah, get yeah. to that like eventually. Yeah, we'll get to that eventually. But um, the writing process. I think the first draft was like seventy pages. Wow. Something like that, and then you and me decided. Let's just do the first. Yeah, we're just it. we're never gonna, yeah. we're never gonna do this. We don't have like, the patience of yeah, the mind to the do it, <laughs> mind. or the money. Oh yeah, that was or a the big money. Deal. And uh, we're like, well, let's take the, this is fifteen minutes of just it could mm-hmm. be a self-contained like story. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, let's take this, and I started editing the drafts and really making. Showing some love to it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Not making love, showing love. <laughs> it, seemed, it seemed around that time there were a lot of TV shows um, on HBO. I think that's when True, not True Blood. What was no, they show? had the following. Yes, and what was the other show with the Matthew? following was big around uh, that time. Matthew um, McConaughey, True Detective. True Detective. And yeah. Then one of our cast members actually told me like, if you guys, he asked me, he's like, did you guys watch the show? I'm like, no. He goes, no, no. Wow, like this is, it's just as, it's a similar premise. I do, I do remember watching the following and being like very angry. Because they <laughs> the whole thing. Being like, what? No, how how dare how you? How dare line? you steal my idea? Yeah. You're Kevin Bacon. It's almost like we, we... We could only blame Kevin oh, Bacon. Oh yeah, Kevin Bacon. Go go back to making Tremors. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like, it's almost like we just hit the nail on the head at the exact time that like cults and those kind of movies were big on HBO. Yeah, and, that was... I don't know around that was time, it was very specific as to like people doing a lot of cult. So I, I have no clue why. I don't know why. I have no clue why. It was it was something something in the water. Something, <laughs> so, something in the water yeah. <laughs> so from that uh, point on, I know that we've had a bunch of script rewrites on the first Black Sun. Also, in conjunction to that, we tried to also like have the casting and development for it as well. When did you both feel like you were ready to start the casting, and who was your first pick that you knew this movie was going to happen? Who do we? Ca- um. um well, I, well said, I have it here. I have it in the production Bible, which I managed to bring with me. It's his alternative fact yeah. checker. Uh, well, he comes later. But <laughs> I remember um, the Halloween party we were at, I think we like a month or two at after house, we started. Right? To, at Vi- yeah, at Vinnie Marola's house. We, um, we met Danny Velez. Mm-hmm. And the funny story about that is, I'll, I'll get into that real quick, was I, I, I was Tony Stark. And he was Bruce Wayne, and he was Bruce Wayne, and we got into an argument as to as to like who was the better hero, and I said, and I looked down, and I was like, well, I saved the whole, I, I saved the whole city from a from a nuclear bomb, and he's like, well, I saved Gotham from a nuclear bomb too, yeah, and I'm like, character. and I'm like, yeah, but I was willing to sacrifice myself, and he's like, I did why I did myself. sacrifice myself, <laughs> yeah. and it was it was such a it was I and then I said to him, well, at least I didn't go into seven years of like a depression and not be Batman anymore. Uh, and yeah. then he was like, "Ah, oh, you got me there." But he, I know, I know he was an actor, and I remember I was friends with him on Facebook, and I always had it in the back of my head. I was like, "Okay, well, when we'll we do something, I'll, I'll, I'll work with him because he was a great guy to work with." And we that tried working, and we tried working with him again. But I remember he was the first one that I that I I, I messaged, and I was like, "Hey, I'm doing a movie. Uh, I want you to be in it. Mm-hmm. I have a perfect part for you." It was uh, Max Max Vigorito. Mm-hmm. I remember Lauren, we had reached out because, like, she, I knew. Well, she that was, was all model. you. Yeah, that she that was, was a, all you. Because she was a model I had known. And we always, you know, uh, you, you need, like, a. Yeah, you need the look. Yeah, you, right. you, need, you, you need a good My look. My looks can only get me so yeah. far with these people. Yeah, and we and reached then, out to her and met up, and she was more than interested in me. And we'll, we'll get to the other casting part, like, when we get to that, because I'll, I'll have, I have a funny story about, like, Michael. When, when he showed up, oh, yeah, I but we'll but we'll, 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 we'll Michael is a whole nother oh, yeah. hour if we really want we'll, uh, to be ambitious. Oh right no, here. we'll we'll do we it. We'll bring do him it. in for a podcast. Yeah, we should. We should. He, he'd man, be by he'd the way. be a great dad. That'd be a that'd be a three hour podcast, which is which is. <laughs> With two uh, questions. No, oh no, which is which is which is great because he's such a great guy to talk to. Absolutely. Um, and he could talk for an hour. Oh yeah, he could talk for an <laughs> hour. You have two questions and tell you good good stories. But um, yeah, we'll 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 get to the actual casting, casting like the day of casting, and when we get to that point. 
Um, but yeah, so the next thing that I want to bring up from that point, because we did condense the script pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. It took us about two months to condense to a sixteen-page movie. Yeah, because we were doing a short, obviously. So from that. When did you feel like the movie was ready and you felt confident enough to release the Indiegogo campaign? Um, I felt comfortable with... I, when did we feel comfortable with it? March or April? Uh, around Cause it, March. Because it, it was starting to get warm, I remember. Yeah. Uh, Is that symbolic for something? Yeah. It was starting to get warm? No, it was starting to get warm. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, trying to remember uh no we felt comfortable like right after like i remember finishing 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 the script at around february and i said well we'll we'll launch the indiegogo in like late march and try to start raising funds for this project because this was i I always said this was like a big this was a the first the first film we did pre the year previously which will that'll be another podcast was that was like my first film without a net without a safety net uh, this one was like even bigger and I was really trying to make sure everything went according to plan. So I figured March was around, I think March was when it started. Cause we kept it going, I think for at least a couple 12 months. weeks, 12 yeah. weeks or something. So now if I remember the numbers correctly, we did about 60% of our goal for $2,000, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken, which for us starting out, knowing, knowing that like, aside from you, we have like no background beforehand i mean aside from like me doing some like music videos and stuff like that and uh jerry would you like to uh tell the audience who was the uh highest don't 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 give away numbers but just who was the highest uh, person that bid it to us one million dollars no who's who 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 was it that donated the most jerry who do you think the guy we always anticipate to come on this show joe never joe comes on the show joe, joe, joe Valanti. how much did he give I, I don't I, I don't want to uh, I, I, I don't want to do I, I don't want to talk numbers because um I don't want to like put him on the spot like, I'll, tr- no, I'll talk we don't numbers trigger him. I'll he talk, could have given more I'll, I'll talk numbers about budget <laughs> always giving more I'll, I'll talk a little side note about Joe was uh he donated so much that he th- he thought which I think and then he was but he, he thought he was the executive producer so like Every five seconds, he'd go, ah, so, uh, Christian, uh, I think uh, you should do this. And I'm like, well, Joe, not really. Uh, this is this is script. Well, it's, well, it's the executive producer. So here's a follow-up to that. Yes. So Joe had the alias of executive producer yes, for which quite he had no some power, time. But he well. also had an extra role in the movie. Oh, yeah. He's well, the, we'll get to that yeah. in a minute. But yeah. So if you were to make a superhero titled the executive producer and use Joe Volante as the character, what would his setup be like? What would he look like in that superhero attire? He'd uh he'd have a big suit with a big E on it. That's twice his size. In 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 the shape of a pancake. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. In the shape of a pancake. Was I'll pancake. leave these two to discuss uh, no. the attire of <laughs> superheroes. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, so <laughs> But what a superhero. Oh yeah. Uh the the next thing to bring up was I feel like we've covered enough ground for the fundraising stuff mm-hmm. that we did. And we can go now into more of how the casting started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So as we mentioned, Danny, who was such a great asset to the film, how did you feel like, well, not so much how, but when did you feel like the chemistry from who you casted started to feel like it was going to come as the one? Well, so when we did cast, I know you weren't there because you had uh, something going on, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, we had um, we had uh, the legendary, the great Michael Lee Cook. Yes. Who is... Uh, good good friend to the podcast just us in general uh i remember we had the uh casting on a saturday and then he couldn't show up until sunday because we had a production meeting that day so he comes in full suit nice fbi tag on us and he goes and i stay you know it's because i i stand up when people come in and like oh he was customary he goes he goes and i'm gonna butcher his accent (laughs) i'm gonna go oh sit down i am uh I'm Agent Langan. He was in character. He's like, I'm Agent Langan. I'm here to talk to you about a uh, investigation that's going on with the, uh, with the missing persons with the cult. And he was in character the whole time. And I was like, my jaw dropped. I was like, oh he my asked god. for an autograph, by the way. Oh yeah, he asked for an autograph. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And I looked at him. I'm like, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, you got the part right then and there. I gave him the part. Well, it goes yeah. to show that when you even take 
two or three statements of taking the extra initiative, there's a lot of boundaries that you could like uh, that you could cross into, and it really captures the interest of somebody else. So big kudos to Michael Lee Cook on that. Oh yeah, and he he's recently he's been well not recently. He's on Broadway. <laughs> Uh, well, he was in he was in a play last year called Ten Terrazin. Terrazin. I stopped by after work and saw it. It was yeah. really good. Yeah, and then he he was on um uh, um that show on oh, uh, uh Investigation it, Discovery. Uh yeah, and uh Investigative Discovery. I forget the name of the show. It was the it was like a reenactment of a murder. Yeah, yeah, and he was on that recently, and then he was in the uh, film that we saw that he was in with the If the Trees Could Talk. Yeah. That that won about what thirty awards or something like mm-hmm. that. And he's been a whole bunch of stuff. And he's got really impressive... He, he knows jiu-jitsu and basketball and all this other stuff. And basketball, yeah. Uh, <laughs> restoration. His wait, restoration wait, wait, work. Know his, his restoration work. I've seen his work is like the detail to it. So he was able to... If we needed to like do some type of set design or something, he just did everything. And he did, That was one of his best assets to the film. And he did a lot of wardrobe work too. <laughs> so very... He he donated a lot of wardrobe to to us as well. Yeah, him and his wife Belinda did such a spectacular oh, yeah. job on the costume designs, making sure that each person for their scene segmented it had a lot of realism to it. And we definitely have to give a lot of credit to both him and Belinda. Mm-hmm. He he made he really made the film happen. <laughs> if it was if it wasn't for him, I think it would be a very different different movie. For sure. Yeah. So, let's get into the juicy, lovely details about filming in itself. Okay. Well, what did you think were some of the funniest highlights between filming throughout the two days that we did? Besides being stressed the fuck out as you were. I didn't sleep over Christian's house in the basement. <laughs> yeah, the fact that we both, like, shared the same floor, that, was, that shit was crazy. Um, yeah, the night before. Uh, so, uh... Waking up 5 o'clock in the morning. Alright, Ian, wake up! Mm. I think I actually woke up on time. I forget. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to... <laughs> oh, I got something from I'm trying it. to remember, yeah, yeah. Not to answer my own questions, yeah. but uh, one thing that I remembered was on the first day of filming, one of your friends uh, who was there uh, mm-hmm. at your house uh, on, like, one of the second scenes or whatever, he started, like, consuming a lot of, like, the food that was oh meant for the actors. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, he... No, and I... then I I was about to join him because the food looks so good. <laughs> oh, I I I I I have a story, um, which I'll probably bring it up again when we when we sit down and we watch it. But um, it was funny. So Michael, in character the whole time. Uh, he there was a scene when he was when they were going around the building, mm-hmm. right? And he goes, uh, and I tell him I says, well, we're just gonna we're gonna in the uh, movie magic, we're going to cut when you jump up the fire escape because this old it was like it was the governor's house here on a it's not out and it was a really old built like you you would know this like how how what, it was like colonial least, so what no i don't think it was that only like 100 years old 100, 100 something is yeah. it yeah um and they have a modern day fire escape on the side and i was looking at this thing i'm like mm, I, don't, I don't i don't know i don't know if you can put a lot of weight on it, and it might fall down. And he climbed right yeah, up. Yeah, I know. So, so he, he, so I tell Michael, I says, we're gonna do, we just jump, and we'll cut away, and then we'll cut to uh, you entering the building through the window. Oh, okay, Chris, no problem. I will, I will do that. So I go and I talk to uh, my AD, and I'm talking to uh, whoever. Uh, I think Michael. I think I was talking to the. Two SWAT team guys, right? My cousin and uh, and my friend Giuseppe, and he was uh, he turns to the camera guy and he goes, "Okay, I, I just want you to follow me up the fire escape. Don't 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 listen to Chris. Don't just, just <laughs> follow me up the fire escape. I know what I'm doing." So I call action, and they come around the building. <laughs> I and didn't see he a climbs, thing of this, by And the way. he climbs up the fire escape, and you see my face behind the camera, like, what the? Like, cursing, like, why are you doing? Oh my God. In my head. And he comes, and he almost slipped. Yeah. He almost slipped. He was on the top part. I didn't part. know that. He was on the top part 
before, uh, you, have to go on before you before you have to go into the window and he slipped and I was like oh and this is like two or three stories up yeah, and I'm like I know I had to take like two or three trips for like production yeah. stuff so yeah. I'm surprised I missed that yeah so and we shot that a couple of times and every time I think he almost slipped and I was I was just you made him do it more than once. Yeah, well, coverage. I, I was a wreck. I was a when wreck he, when he did When that. someone's like impulsive on an idea like that, they're going to be persistent enough to keep it going. So, What would have happened if that ladder would have just... Uh, the lawsuit? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Really but, um, no, we're moving. But uh, I, it, it's really a testament to like how good Michael is as an actor to like really just sit there and know. Because you you got to listen to the director, but it's like if you have that feeling of like, I know the director's telling me to do this, but... This is better. I, I feel like this is a little better. Right then you're allowed to do that. That's that's really good. But for me, I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't don't climb up the fire escape. <laughs> and he's like, oh no, Christian, it's fine. I do this all the it's time. It's like I pet you on the head. And I'm it's like, okay, little Christian. And, I'm like, all right. and we came up with a couple of shots on set, like for well, that specific scene. Yeah, yeah. Like them looking up, him jumping through. I, that's the best part of the movie. That was actually a really cool place to film. Yeah, that yeah. was just it was it just had a vibe about yeah. it, that place and the basement. Oh, was the other yeah. Story. Tell yeah. the story about so about the basement. We go into the basement and, and I missed this part by the way. Oh, yeah, told yeah, me yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, we went into the basement and it was almost like it was like a cavern of some kind, like. A, was there, there was catacombs. Catacombs. There, there are catacombs kind. leading yeah, everywhere. Leading everywhere. And. <laughs> On one side, someone had spray painted in red S A T A. I'm guessing yeah, and we Satan. know and we knew what that was. And it was like, oh, this is oh. adding more <laughs> realism oh, to the movie. Uh, oh, another funny story that I just remembered was that we we got there, and I'm not big into like ghost stories and stuff. Right. But I just think, but you know, like it's Snug Harbor, so it was a lot of sailor stops there, and you know who you don't know who died there, whatever. But you know when it's twilight and it's the sun's rising and you have like that little bit of mist going mm-hmm. but we we got there at sunrise right and uh the crew came or whatever and uh we opened up the door and i didn't realize that giuseppe uh you know who, who was one of who was one of the extras yeah um he walked into the building walked upstairs and hid <laughs> he hid so i open up the door and i'm walking in and i'm talking to um and i'm talking to uh I think um, Andrew, who who was the uh, DP or the assistant DP, and I was like, and all of a sudden, walk in, Giuseppe screams at the top of his lungs like a female screaming. Mm. I run out of there. It's hot, hot, it's hot, 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 hot. (laughs) He's coming out laughing, laughing, and I was like, you mother, I did. Someone tell you it was haunted. Who was that? The guy that? Yeah, no. Oh, it's funny. So the people. So when we were doing, when I was negotiating the location, they took us around, and we went to one of the other buildings. Right. And I looked and I walked in and they weren't coming. I go, I go, what's, well, how come you're not coming in? And they're like, no, it's fine. And I'm like, <laughs> and I smiled. It's and great, I'm like, no big deal. And I'm, yeah, like, no big deal. and I'm like, it's haunted, isn't it? And they're like, oh, we're not obliged to say. And of I'm course. like, and you give it away right there. Oh, yeah. And I looked at them, I'm like, okay. I'm so not making the joke to everybody else. Do a sleepover, guys. Oh, yeah. No, I, did you ever have that feeling of your skin crawling a little bit when you walk in? I felt something? that in the basement. Yeah, yeah, there, no. So. It was like very. Very scary. And then another story that I had, which was uh, it's probably gonna get me in trouble from somebody, but uh, we were sh- we were shooting in the bay. You were there. You were there for that. You were cracking so many jokes. We were in the basement at the scene when Lauren was tied up. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Jerry knows. Jerry knows. But wasn't Michael making half the jokes? Oh yeah, Michael was making half the jokes. So we had her all tied up, and he was making all like, oh, oh, should I, I think do it Put them down. Oh, oh. The, so. So I so to get her so to get her in the moment, I was like, oh look a mouse, and she's like, oh, oh, oh look. And she's tied up the whole oh, time. Oh, she's tied yeah. up the whole time. Her legs are tied up, her arms are tied. Up. She couldn't move. Wait, did you really just go, oh look a mouse? Like she was just expe- yeah, yeah, she was expecting a mouse <laughs> that to like is run so funny. Because you. you know, I'm I'm trying to get her in like that like freaked out mode, and it, yeah, worked. it worked, and it worked. So. Oh um, my god, your hair looks bad. What? Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, oh, you know, the other room says, like, Satan on it. And, uh, and <laughs> that freaked everybody out. And really. I think, and, and I think, like, I, I, I'm trying to remember if I whispered to, like, Joe Calandria. I was like, hey, can you just say, like, you thought you, thought you saw something running across? He's like, oh, yeah, sure. Ten minutes later, oh, I think I just saw something. And now she's freaking out now. <laughs> And and the best part about it is I'm in like the occult garb. Oh, yeah. I, I and 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 I got like full blown beard. There's like, Twenty people. In oh yeah, yeah. Room. I'm like and I'm and I'm like getting in the moment as like 
as like a Nate, murderer. as like Nate is like uh, our other DP was like directing the scene because I was in it and I'm right. like and I'm doing the whole like hand cutting thing and I'm like mumbling to myself getting in the moment and she's freaking out and she was like oh my god <laughs> to like this went on for like two hours and by the end of it she was so exhausted from being <laughs> I remember that too she really was like tired oh, she after was everything freaked she was out. a trooper Oh, she was she was such a trooper. Mm-hmm. Like it was just, and the makeup she had to go through. It was. I know. Wasn't that her first movie that yeah. she yeah. did? Because mm-hmm. I believe she had been modeling before that. <laughs> right. And but she did a really good job. Yeah, she was good. Yeah. She yeah she was very good on the spot. Like there was that scene with uh, with Michael E. Cook. Uh, where you were about to like capture or something mm-hmm. like that, the the inner like dialogue was very well written. And when, when Michael, and she, she acted well on it. When Michael goes to shoot me, I disappear, and it's it's not a continuity error, but it's like he goes to shoot me, and Michael's like, Christian, you have to fall on the floor, mm. and I'm like looking around, and and it's, it's an unfinished basement. <sighs> oh, I I I just remembered something else now again when I uh, gotcha when I figure out. So I'm like Michael, there's like it's dirty, like I don't know what's down, I don't. Know stuff's going Meanwhile, on you're okay with Lauren like, yeah yeah no well she was she was on like she a tarp like she was on yeah. the tarp yeah. so so Michael walks in as we're setting up he goes and he he's just admiring the the uh, the architecture and the uh, whatever it was and he takes a stick and he and he's poking the ceiling and this dust <laughs> coming down and he goes oh that's asbestos and I'm like and we're all, <laughs> oh my god I remember that he did and that I'm like, and I'm like look at him look Michael the wire touched it I don't know <laughs> it and just he puts looks it down, good and he puts it down and he goes I'm going to stop now I just, just <laughs> walks away that's asbestos and I was just like, oh, like oh, that's good oh my god way to add to a set right yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, so that was, that was, that was, that was just, that was just one location, Stark Harbor, which mm-hmm. was like, oh, and I do have a word of advice for, for filmmakers that have security, that, that have people like security watching. Uh, when we walked in and the security walked up to me, hi, I'm security guard, but I'm going to, going to, uh, watch you. You have to, lo- watch you have the location until two o'clock. We went way over. Mm-hmm. It's always Last good. Two hours. Yeah. It's Even always food. good. It's always good. To give the security guard, hey, you want a cup of coffee? You want some? Like, and he was like, and he was good. And he said to me, he was like, hey, look, you know, you, I know you had it till two, but you were nice to me and you gave me some coffee, so right. I let you stay. So I, I, I tell any filmmaker, not kiss up, <laughs> but coffee up, coffee up with <laughs> with the people there. there. You yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. That was more valuable than anything you oh, were yeah. gonna. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we all headed back. We had to shoot some scenes at at um my house your house yeah my living room yeah. and a bedroom yeah and i had to go somewhere that night yeah. so i left my house yeah in the hands of that, that's that's the most i still remember yes. my process. favorite my favorite part of the the night before was was your mom walks up to me and she goes she goes in the most sternest voice christian <laughs> if there's something missing in this house i will tie you up and i will take like a, a no and i will take a um tweezer a tweezer and i will tweet out your head it's we got every hair out of your head individually (laughs) i'm like i'm like okay Okay. and the only thing that was missing when i got home later that night was just you forgot to put in the light bulb everything oh my god i would have been pissed oh Oh, Oh, a light bulb it was nothing (laughs) Um, and then I remember, like, she goes to me afterwards, and she's like, oh, hi, Jerry. <laughs> oh, hi, Jerry. She looks like, at she, Jeffy. She looks at Jeffy. I don't, even know, I don't even know who you are, but I'll beat you up, too. But I'm like, oh, my God. But your house was funny, because um, cause we, we went over, like, by a lot at your house. What time did you guys get out? Because I got home like, by, like, like eight 1 o'clock, o'clock in the morning. Like, oh, 8 o'clock, okay. yeah. And um, we had Danny in the bed. We had Danny in the bed. And I said, okay, Danny, uh, you're, 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 you're sleeping. And he's like... In jeans, and I'm like, well, I told you to bring like pajamas and stuff. He strips down in front of me. I'm like, oh, oh I'm hey, like, no, I'm, like, hey. I'm, I'm embarrassing him. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I made and the then joke. We I was like, we're shooting a porno in your house. Um, no, I, I but think I texted you. Yeah, so like, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm shooting a porno. Um, yeah, and then the second day, Lee's which Tavern. was which was Lee's Tavern, which we lost. We only did. <laughs> we were only allowed half the day that we were promised. Right, well, that was a terrible misfortune because i got there in the morning mm-hmm. and then i had to go back home to get something and then there was tr- they fire department had blocked off amboy and highland and i literally tried four times i couldn't i get remember to that the traffic the on amboy so and i couldn't get yeah. to i called you about guys i can't but get to the you. problem was was we were in like i i managed to like on the fly mm-hmm. figure out figure out a location on the fly and which was great and uh which i think made the film 
like better. Yeah. We 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 in like the marsh area. Mm-hmm. You know, like down near South Beach. Yeah, down near South Beach, and we those damn airplanes. Yeah, you those keep getting It was so mysterious. I couldn't oh, find yeah, Jerry, you ever. Jerry, 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 <laughs> Jerry couldn't find it, so I sent Jerry home. Oh, you used to go home. Yeah, I, I told Jerry. I said no. Nah, I, I was on administrative leave. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> really driving through the streets yeah. trying to find. I, I told him. I told him. I said just go down Norton Avenue until you can't go anymore. And 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 there we are. And what did he say? And then Jay I was like, funny. "Sounds good, meet me at least." Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the uh, but the first day I have a a, a funny story about the first day. So like it's it's um, it's how good you are as a filmmaker to like really like be assertive. Um, we were sh- we had um, and I'm admitting this on air, <laughs> but we're uh, we um we we had like the fake weapons like the guns right. and stuff. And, you know, it's a federal offense, but you like you spray off the uh, the, or- the orange part. Yeah. And I told everybody, I says they're staying in the house until needed. And I said no one is leaving this house with the gun in hand, unless we're shooting. And I made and I says you do this. I said you leave and you do something. I'm getting kicked off. Say I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to. I don't want to, you know. It was me. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was Jerry. It was Jerry. When in doubt, blame Jerry. So uh, yeah. one of the uh, extras and walks out. And before you go on, that yeah. was actually during the time when yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That was the um, the uh, Al Sharpton. Yeah, it, did, it was. It, we shot the same day as the Al Sharpton. And cops were yeah. around that area. We shot the same day as the Al Sharpton uh, protest. Uh, uh, protest. That was after the Eric Garden. Yeah, Eric Garden. Yeah. Right. And I said, look, we're right near the Al Sharpton thing. Please don't, <laughs> please don't do that. So one of the. Uh, Extras come out, think he was funny. Was like, I'm gonna shoot everybody. I'm like, get off my set. <laughs> so he, it was, it was, not fun. Hmm. Sounds like fun. But the day was successful. Yeah. How but long was it from 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 the moment from we start? Yeah. From the moment we stepped foot on Snug Harbor until six the moment I left your house, it was like six to like eight at night. Oh. So it, so it, it, it was about a twelve. Well, then I yeah. had to do a trip back. Yeah. Uh, to Snug Harbor, I yeah. think I had to pick up people mm-hmm. as well. Because there were some people who were coming from the city. And oh yeah, then, I, I was a wreck. Oh, didn't I, you, who did you didn't you bring? I think I picked up Lauren. Yeah, you brought her back to my house. I yeah, she bring her home. I forget. Yeah. I picked up Lauren from Snark uh, from Snark Harbor, but I came back from like your house yeah. or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember you telling me the funny story. Like Lauren was uh, sitting in the car with like full blown like beat up makeup, and, <laughs> and everybody was looking at you like, oh my god, what did he do? Oh my god. But um, if I could talk about the locations real yes. quick. Yes. Um. We were supposed to shoot at um, Bailey Seaton. Right. Mm-hmm. And we had the location down. But. But. <laughs> but and I want to thank Foes on the Lens for connecting me with the, with uh, Bailey Seaton. Because they shot a uh, great film. Plug. I'm plugging Foes. Uh, <laughs> Halloween The Awakening. Right. Uh, which was like the main inspiration yeah. why I wanted to try that location. Yeah. Which uh, I tell everybody to follow that on YouTube. But. Um, Find, find the film on YouTube, watch it, it's great. Uh, and uh, we had it. And then all of a sudden, I, I, they, they tell me, uh, yeah, you know, we can't, we can't really give you the location. And I go, why? Well, Warner Brothers <laughs> came and was like, uh, we want Bailey Seaton for uh, Arkham Asylum for Gotham. Yeah, and whenever I was like, I was like oh. They outbid us. Yeah, and I was like, hmm. Nope, that's not happening. No, that's not happening. Five hundred thousand dollars yeah. going once, going <laughs> twice. twice. Go yeah. fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, but uh, that happened. So yeah. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Uh. So, so as we discussed much mm-hmm. about the film, I felt like an underrated piece towards what we were doing throughout that whole process was the post-production stuff. Yeah. That got very interesting for a couple of reasons. <laughs> One of the mm-hmm. funnier stories from that is Aragali, Anthony oh, Aragali, yeah. and his dad <laughs> oh, arguing. Yeah. Um, can we take a quick break so I can flip the thing on the camera? Oh, sure. great. All right, so we'll be back from, uh, we'll do sponsorship for, uh, and then we'll be right back. This episode of Collective Podcasting is sponsored by Da Piera. They're on 1970 Victory Boulevard. You like Italian cooking? Absolutely. Well, this is authentic Southern Italian cooking. They have a chef directly from Italy, which is in the city. Um, great Italian food. They have they have pizza. They have um, uh, sandwiches. Authentic, real authentic Italian food. Ate there last week. Really great. I suggest everybody go. And uh, 
Tell them the Caputo Collective sent you. And we're back, and we're going to talk about Anthony Aragali and his dad arguing during post-production for Black Sun. Christian, take it away. He was editing. His dad was mowing the lawn. He screamed out the window, shut up! And his dad went, no, you shut up! And it was just funny. And they were arguing for about an hour? Yeah, they were arguing about an hour. No, they were dwelling on it, both him and his dad, oh, yeah. for about an hour. Mm-hmm. Even after takes between white people and stuff like that, But too. we had, um... We, what, what were, we, we were doing, like, ADR work and voiceovers, right? That's what it was, and sound design that day. Did we have Danny and Mike both times? Yeah, and we had or Lauren... At the same time? And then we had Lauren once, and then we had Andrew... Di, di, uh, Di Lorenzo once when he was like I wasn't I, there for I Andrew's copy. part for one word yeah he goes I copy and um, he had to say he had to re-say his line uh, uh, what, what was it uh, um, what the hell was the line oh it's a uh, that's a Victorian it, that's I, a Victorian that's a Victorian I, uh, I think it's a Victorian house we should house. get him on the podcast yeah Get him too. <laughs> he, he'd just be great to talk to. I think it's a Victorian. All right, the podcast says we just try to wait until Andrew DiLorenzo comes on the podcast. <laughs> no, but anyway, but anyway, five weeks later, no, five, five weeks later. months later. But anyway, so uh, we we did the voiceover. It was I was nothing really. Like uh, I played guitar. Yeah, yeah, you played the guitar <laughs> that, for that. That one was scene. so random, like you yeah. doing guitar. Yeah, because we wanted to do the scene where right after the opening, um, part part of yeah. the words. Right after the opening scene, um, it ends with like a scream, and then it, the title comes up, and then the next thing you hear a guitar, and it's like a daylight in a bar. I just yeah. total flip. Yeah. So I just figured, you know, so give, me, like, give me the guitar. Did I bring mine? Or yeah, I brought, you brought yours. I brought yours. Yeah. And I played like a, I think I played like three chords. Yeah, you like. When we do the playback, that's exactly how it sounds. Oh yeah. We should make deliverance remake. Oh god, that's pretty mouth. We got a pretty mouth. Pretty mouth. Um, yeah, I think the audio design was like took like three months, three four months to do, and the post production that was a that was a that was sad. Editing. How long did that take? Editing it literally, I had to go into every clip, and um, I had to because. The camera we used a red cam, and the camera didn't record audio. That was we had we had a separate, so we had oh, we had separate audio, and I had to on. and I had to sync up the the video with the audio. But then before that, I had to uh, color co- uh, color grade the uh, the footage. I knew about the color grade in the re- in the. Um, because there was a program, I forget, I forget what the program was. Because for the, to convert the red cam footage, and that took like two weeks to do almost because really? it was because the the footage was so big mm. that you had to convert it all, and it was just and then that well, was two weeks. Old computer, yeah, so. yeah, my my shitty computer. <laughs> then, then I had to edit the whole thing, and and I needed to figure out and I had to write down like what scenes were good, what scenes were not good. Then I had to edit it. Then I had to edit it again. <laughs> it, it took, I Three think, months? from about September, late September of 2014, including sound design, till about, I want to say, uh, January of 2015. When did we release? Like, February? Uh, we were, no, we had, we had the private screening on... Uh, on what At day? My house. What day? Ian, uh, yeah, Ian, Ian, Ian asked me. He goes, uh, "Yeah, we'll have it at Jerry's house on uh, yeah, first. Oh, no, yeah, let's have it on uh, Friday, Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, and then Ian, blank stare, looks at me and goes, "What day is Friday the 13th? <laughs> <I forgot about laughs> and though. he was serious yeah, about and it. As I said, and I, I looked like, at him. Like I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like Ian. Like, I'm like, like just said I'm like Ian. Say that again. He's like, <laughs> what day oh. is Friday the thirteenth? And I think what I meant is. When is it? Oh, like, when is it? When is it? What day is it? Friday the thirteenth. Friday. But we, but we. I think we. I think our first viewing was at was in May. Was that at the, the, the Lovecraft? That was a Lovecraft. No, no, that was that was that was. Was cin- it your house first? Was it Cinematic Uprising or was it uh, the Lovecraft? Oh, first? actually, no. You're right. Cinematic oh, Uprising yeah. was early April. Mm-hmm. Yes. Then Lovecraft was first two weeks in May. Yeah. But didn't we have it at your house as well? We did well, have, that was the that um, was the that was February. The Okay. The Friday, the, that was the cast party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That right. was the rap party. Which, which was... That was actually a good time. That was a good time. That was yeah. a great time. I love it. Everybody yeah. was there. We had a, we had a 
few guests coming in to watch it. My parents also, thought it sucked. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's really terrible, Jerry. Jerry's like, you spent how much money on this? <laughs> yeah. Jerry! And then we showed them your, uh, your other film, Mind Vision. Oh, yeah, and then we showed them Mind Vision. And which, the people, oh yeah! Oh yeah! And, and we showed them, and we showed which that down just the, be. The, the movies keep getting better and better. Let oh, me yeah. tell you. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh it's just it's just I, you, you just gotta love the, the de evolution of the movies. Oh the de evolution. <laughs> the de evolution. No no brilliant. if you if you if you watch my films in reverse from the most recent to my to my oh, old to my oldest one it's like how these movies be. are getting like yeah they're getting worse. Low well, budget like what are yeah, you going seriously. on? Here? How about no budget? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of budget. Uh, oh, you budget. To, you want me to talk about budget? So what yeah. did you think was the easiest part out of assumption that you thought like you could budget for? And then when it actually came down to it, you're like, wow, this is a total pain in the ass. Well, I have the budget sheet right here. Was it the location? Uh, that was well, scaring let's it. see. There's sheet. a few things I'm thinking for your answer. Or the red cam. Uh, well, camera cost about a thousand. Wow. Um... Two days. Yeah. Lighting, lighting was about one hundred and fifty. Mm. Sound was about six. Okay, so the location, the location. This is this is my mastery of negotiation. And I have but, to say, yeah. for, before we even go into that, yeah. film takes a lot of charis, uh, charismatic uh, influence on every side of the table. So the fact that you came into your own on this particular thing is a big deal. Okay. So so the greatest story ever told was, I literally annoyed. The uh, the CFO or the CMO it of was the CFO. it was the CFO of uh, of Snug Harbor. I went there literally every other day. And I sat at his desk, and because we had the contract all written up and all ready, and I signed my part, and I'm like, "You gonna sign it? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah." I was gonna say, and I'm like, "It's getting closer to the shooting day," and I'm like, "It was like April." Yeah, May, and I'm right? like, "I'm like, dude, sign it." Like just, I just did two seconds. Put the pen and paper and just. So, yeah. I don't, I don't care if it's in blood. Just do it. Like come <laughs> on, man. So um, he wanted, I, I want to say he wanted like fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars or something around that area. I ma- I managed to negotiate him down to eight. That's incredible. Yeah, I got him down to eight hundred dollars, and I was just. What do you think? What do you think was the one thing you said that? Made him like thinking and said, "Okay, the, I he deserves a negotiation." Um, well, in my uh, <laughs> in my ignorance and my uh, amateurish, I told him, "I said, yeah, we don't need like a full twelve hours. You, I can do it in like seven, which was which was uh, and that forced him to think, okay, yeah, which was which was not true because <laughs> uh, filmmaking you need a twelve hours days. But in my ignorance, I was like, yeah, how long is this? Yeah, how long is two this, seconds? How two long seconds. is this? Two up? Not knowing that the red cam takes like. A long time to set up shots. Uh, yeah, it was like an just, hour to set up. Yeah, and it was I. So I got that down to eight hundred. The DP was about five. The assistant camera was with. Was included in the DP. Uh, the gaffer was at four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, and the makeup. Was uh two hundred and fifty dollars flat, which everything all together was. Forty one hundred dollars. Not including, not including, uh, right. post, not not including food and post and, and which Aragali, which was Aragali. You probably got up to five, including everything. Aragali, yeah. Aragali was about three fifty. Yeah. To do sound design and so stuff. So give or take everything together. Yeah, everything together. Gas about, and everything, five hundred. Yeah, if you want to have done five thousand. Wife expectancy. Which is which 5, is 000. which is for a seventeen minute film, which is not not that bad. No. no. Not that bad. And then it won an award. I remember. I was in grad school and you called me up and said, Black Sun won an award. I was You're like, like ah, what? Yeah, we'll get to that point when we... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what was... In terms of film festivals, what was your favorite film festival and which what was one festival you wanted to go to so badly but you couldn't make it to? Uh, was it the Floridian one we wanted to go to but we couldn't go? There was something about traveling issues between like work schedules for you and I. That was in where was that Philly? I think there was a week I could have gotten off, yeah, and then you couldn't get off, yeah. and then when we rearranged, it was vice versa. Then. Oh yeah, so we couldn't come to an agreement. Uh, cinematic uprising, the one that Chris ran. That was so much fun. Oh, that, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that was a blast. That was, that was a blast. Yeah, it was. Uh, it really was, taught us to respect the artist. Respect the artist. <laughs> I love you, Chris. Uh, <laughs> Who was the uh, guest on our podcast, the interview we had. Um, and um, that one... Well, it's funny. When I when we were entering the festival circuit, I said to myself, 
uh, the award that we won, the California Film Award, the Orson Welles Award. When when I entered it, I was like, I want that award. And legit, I was like, I want I want that award. I want that award. I'm gonna get that award. And it was uh, I was outside of uh, my job, or I was driving to my job. I remember getting an email, and I was getting like all these like no's, like eh, it's a good movie, but we don't want to show it. It was getting it was getting wow, that's, that's it was not getting, a nice email. It oh was my getting, God. no no you know it's like the rejection stuff. It was good. It wasn't as it much was of getting, a piece of shit as I thought it was gonna it be. Was getting, it. Yeah, it, it was getting positive reviews, but at the same time it was the it had, it, it had its trial and error. It didn't it didn't have the criteria. It was reaching a, a niche a niche, niche market. Niche 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 niche. Um niche niche, 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 niche. Um so um so uh, we, we were driving to, uh, I, I was driving to work, and I remember getting an email, and I'm reading this, I'm reading this email, and I'm like, eh, it's probably going to be one of those And you said email. that to me on the phone afterwards. <laughs> and I clicked the hyperlink that was on it, see the uh, winners, and I scrolled down, and I'm like, R- Orson Welles winner, uh, Christian Caputo for Black Sun, and I'm like... And that was around Christmas time. That was that was yep. that was the day before New Year's. Yes, it was. I, I was I literally pulled over and I called you, and I was like, "Dude, oh, we won an award!" And you were screaming on the phone like yeah. a freaking lunatic. <laughs> and Ian, and Ian, in his ever wisdom, was like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> we won an award? We we did what now?" And I'm like, "We won an award, Ian." Really? Like, <laughs> unbelievable. I didn't believe him. He was like, "Unbelievable." But we're like the Ed and Nettie of yeah. Staten Island. Yeah, <laughs> we're like. You're like what? Really? And I'm like, yeah. And I shot like MDB, and I was like, and, oh, it's and legit. he's like, and he's like, oh my god. And you guys went out to celebrate, and I'm literally sitting there. Really good, like, Millers. Yeah. Oh yes. And, and I'm literally sitting there at work with this woman, and was like, I I'm returning this, and you're a terrible. Oh, worker. you're a Toys R Us. Yes. Yeah. And I'm literally doing like kids registering. I'm like, and I'm literally sniffing like I'm an award winning filmmaker, <laughs> and I'm trying to get off of work. I'm like, dude, I'm like my film, and I'm showing them the email. Mm-hmm. It says like, well, we saw you walk in. You're on camera. We can't just let you leave. And I'm like, but I'm an award winning director. And I and I'm literally and I'm and I'm literally working and I'm just like I won an award and look at me I'm just sitting here like like an idiot like like with well, these twice twi- twice out of business yeah with these soccer moms like <laughs> like like I, I want to see we're the still manager in business, more important I want to mm-hmm. see the manager show me the man with their hair cut and I yeah. want to see the manager I was like I'm fine Jeffy the giraffe um, <laughs> I want to see Jeffy the giraffe <laughs> yeah and then we 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 were <laughs> oh god don't don't get me started with with people with walking uh, no with people walking out in those costumes. Uh, um. Yeah. Then we were. No, in, that's me, right? Then we were in a bunch of other that's film my next festivals. Question. <laughs> oh my god. Then, then we were in a bunch it's of other. Go. Oh, it's never gonna end. Uh, we and we then we were in a whole bunch of film festivals afterwards. Jeffrey the giraffe. Jeffrey the giraffe. <laughs> that's going to be a new joke. <laughs> Jeffrey the giraffe. What's the last false alliteration? Oh, I didn't, didn't oh actually, that? never mind. It's Bell of a G. He has a GE. Yeah. Though, like he's British. Joffrey. Jer- Jeffrey. 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 Jerry. Jerry. Jeffrey. Wasn't his um. Didn't he used to be in like the R in the uh Yeah, the yeah, he was in the R in the whole oh, year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is totally oh, off went off the rails. But uh we uh we uh we went to uh fifteen other film festivals. None of which we won. No, I be it's a prestigious award that we won. We the amount of networking yeah. we did over time. Though, oh yeah, is no, the most you, valuable experience we, between everything. We we won IMDb, which oh we went to that Katra Film Festival. Oh yeah, Katra. That was a fun. That's day. right. Cool. It was Katra. That was a great yeah. time. Yeah, yeah that's that, that's when I took a bite of something spicy. And you and, and, and I was freaking out because <laughs> nothing happened. Because I because no, I had, nothing happened to you that yeah, night. Yeah, because I, I, I had to get your Starbucks and there was a bad miscommunication. Yeah, yeah. You came back and you were like. I got me a regular coffee. I was like, I wanted a frappuccino. <laughs> yeah, Ian. What is this, so like I'm a producer. Where's my, where's my frappuccino? Frappuccino. I'm a producer. And he, he threw the coffee in Jerry's. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and then Jerry but, drank the rest of the oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Yes, I did. Because I'm an award winning film. Oh, I don't give a crap about Starbucks. But I, I remember freaking out because I ate something spicy and I was chugging ginger out. And you're like, you're doing fine. I'm like, mm. And there were a couple of good movies yeah. we watched there. Some, like, but we, we, who, you were able to get like a couple people to review did yes, I had I had some honest reviews on it. There was I, so I think I did four people. As opposed to dishonest reviews. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do dishonest reviews. <laughs> so I think with the four, 
two said they liked it overall. Yeah. One really did not like it, and the other wow. one, and, and the other one was like uh, critical piece by piece and mm. gave us some good advice. So mixed to positive. What did yeah. the guy that not liked it say? He, he was just like, "It's generic. He, there wasn't oh. there wasn't much substance to it. It's a, it's too open ended." You know, you know, to my, my answer to that is, yeah. why don't you spend nine months? Trying to make a movie. What if you agree with it? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you're like, holy shit, you're right. You're and right. I agree. No, but <laughs> and, I agree. and I agree. But um, <laughs> but uh, oh, this uh, turns into like a comedy. But we oh. were in a we we were in fifteen other film festivals. Is there any other ones that that I'm missing? Miami, we got into. Miami, we got into. Wait, which is pretty big. Tribe, we were so writing in arts or something. I have I have a funny story about From upstate. Yeah. Oh no, in, in Pennsylvania. I I have, I have a funny story about you, Jerry. How um, I do. <laughs> we were we were in Ian's we were in your backyard for a for a summer party. And I was like, Jerry, we gotta enter Tribeca before it's too late. So Jerry Jerry has a beer and he chugs it and he goes, Give me that phone, I'm gonna enter He enters he enters Tribeca. Shit face. Completely shit face. Oh yeah, you were like, I'm gonna and I'm reading this that. and I'm reading that's when um that's when Nick came in with with, with the two bigger uh, Re- Reese's pieces and yeah, it was like yeah. the ten the five commandments. Fifteen. The fifteen. The ten commandments. But um. Reese's but uh, pieces. no, not Reese's pieces. It was um. A rice krispie. Rice krispie treat. Yeah. Meg threw them. So I, I and I'm reading this. I'm like, this is pretty good. Jerry should be drunk all the time. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no grammatical. No up. grammatical errors or nothing. Oh. And so, I was yeah. shocked at myself when I re- reread it again because I tend to make a lot of grammatical yeah. mistakes when I'm like in the moment writing. Right. So I was looking at this and I'm like, holy shit, I gotta drink another three. <laughs> oh yeah, no. But what happened was funny. Was uh, moving on. And that was at the uh, at the cast party. Everybody was like, "Sequel!" Oh boy! And that's began the whole yeah, process. Oh, of, Lord. And then we tried to write. I think it was like a 125 page script. Yeah, we wrote combining. Like, I think that was six months of writing. Yeah, yeah. six months. Try a year. Try a year. Try a year. A year? Try almost it was a throughout year. My grad school. But did, grad didn't school we like really take a hiatus on it? Though? Yeah, we took yeah. about we took about two months hiatus because okay. I didn't clear my head. Because I, I could have swore like we really were oh, yeah. we were meeting. Every other day, but the, uh, yeah. the title of it that I came up with was "Black Sun: The Seventh Seal." We literally combined Nazis. Oh yeah, which, oh, I, my God. which I still like the name, by the way. Yeah, the Seventh Nazis? Seal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was so good. Nazis with Manchurian candidates with, with clones. With clones, it was just. I'll, I'll tell you the reason why was I was going through serious writer's block mm-hmm. because I didn't know where to go with the story. And it kept evolving and it kept making it bigger. I'm like, I want this film to feel like it's really happening mm-hmm. and stuff. So I I started. This is this was around the time that X Files was coming back for its like for its tenth season. And I binge <laughs> watch and I started binge watching X Files. Yeah, you were freaking me out a little. <laughs> and I was Every like, day. and I was like, Jerry, I came up with something new. What? <laughs> Clones, and, clones. And, Je- and, Je- and Jerry and you looked at me you were like okay and okay. Ian's like what an amazing idea <laughs> and then it, but then it turns into like oh well let's also add no, no, this no. in there and then and, 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 and then Ian looks at me he goes well what if what if yeah you could tell they're a clone there's a twinkle in their eye and I'm like what a great idea and I'm writing this down and then Ian goes well what if what if what if we go to uh, Camp Pouch? And, uh, Camp Pouch. Camp Pouch. And, and we... And uh, no, no, no. Facility. And it's a cloning facility of all young kids. And what if... And what, if, oh, what fits that idea? That and, what if, and what if... And what if they infiltrated all of... All, all of those, the senators. All of the senators in the government. And I'm like, oh my God. And this was when I'm talking, Dig. Dig came Dig out. Came out. Dig came out, which is a great show. And stuff. that was... And I was like... And I watched Dig. And I binged on Dig. And I was like, this is fucking amazing. And then Colony and I'm, was at the same yeah, time. As I'm talking five movie. miles an hour. And I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Colony came out. And I'm like, there, there. And then it turned it into a freaking X-Files. Where it's yeah. like, aliens are coming down. And, and I'm to like, the point where when you looked at the script and read it, it was like, I don't know where we're going yeah, with this. And, and then you read it. And you were like... I have to go home now, Jack. And you were like, I have to go home now. <laughs> and then uh, and then you showed me, which I'm going to plug it on here. You, sh- <laughs> you showed me um, uh, 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 a Godsmack. A Godsmack? <laughs> and yeah, I was, uh, listen to the rain. <laughs> and I was like, what a great song. <laughs> what, 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 what is it? Um, what voices. Is it voices. Voices. It was voices. And I'm like, voices what? Voices on Godsmack's acoustic EP. And I'm like, I'm like, what a great song. Let's use that for the ending. <laughs> no, I, I went totally off the rails. Yeah. And then we started pre-production. And it just fell and, out and, 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 and we're calculating 
the budget. Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. Thirty thousand dollars. And Michael, Michael's like, well, I could get you all these actors. I could get you this one. And I'm like, we're Let's talking do about it. getting plus again Timothy Oliphant. And <laughs> yeah, that was that was a pretty big. And uh, then and discussion. then and then we had our very first meeting with Fuzz. And Fuzz was so great to us. Like, yeah, we'll help you out and everything. And and they were like, yeah, here's how you get into it. And remember, I wanted I wanted Daniel Harris. <laughs> yeah. Timothy Oliphant, yeah. Daniel Harris. I wanted I wanted Daniel. Budget. No, and then I wanted John Larroquette. Okay. And then you wanted Ryder Strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a whole there, list of actors. John Delancey. There was something Delancey. very funny that happened yeah. the second meeting we had with Mike on that. Yeah. So we had we had a very like constructive and a pretty well like processed meeting. Good solid hour of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the minute someone mentioned Daniel Harris, it was literally another hour of talking about Daniel Harris. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. How beautiful. I I, I I have such a such a crush on him. It's not even funny. Oh, question. When we met up with Fuzz that that time, yeah. all right, we met at Wave Street. Where, what was that about? Was that about? That, that? that was about. That was about. Oh, that was okay. about it. Yeah. And we and we showed them the script, and they're like, "It's pretty good." And a little I, ambitious. Yeah, well, I mean, well, ambitious, but it's really good. <laughs> and I was like, because you want to know why? Because uh, I, I have like this, like, if Fuzz can do it, I can do it mm -hmm. type type of mindset because they're such, they're such great filmmakers. I'm like, I want to be like them. I want to be like you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if they can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I would hire you for a commercial. And base. not realizing that Fuzz had, <laughs> Fuzz had so many years cultivating and just, and just like doing stuff. So, and it was, I was just too ambitious. It was too ambitious. Whereas this movie is actually fairly... Yeah, the what one... happened to the old school days of actually kissing somebody's ass? Come no, on now. come on. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, real quick, not to get into too many details, <laughs> with the other script that we had, I totally scrapped that. And we were like, well, we'll just do whatever. And I wrote another script. I think, I think. Or no. No, I didn't write it. So we had someone else write another script for us. And that was... Even more ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get like the warehouse. Yeah, and, like, when it's like, uh, there's, there's what, like a whole thing. what was Light it? It was, it was, it was, it was a chemical. What was it? Was it? Chemical? Oh, it was like Batman Begins. It yeah, was it was like he's gonna do it in the not in the sewer system. It was in the subway system. The subway system. And and and, and, and the plot of that it was they're gonna release a chemical That's pathogen. That's a great story though. Oh my god. And they were gonna release a chemical. It was. They were gonna release a chemical pathogen yeah. into the subway system. But it turned system. out that the police commissioner who's yeah. tasked with investigating is being um, blackmailed Manipulated, by the Manipulated. Yeah. And he has. To, oh, it was such. A and then story. the ending was such a great. With the whole, he has. A with the whole, rifle. it's no, no. It was the ending was was um, we were gonna have Danny come back and Michael come back, and Danny was gonna come out of the subway system, doesn't get hit with the pathogen. But you pull and it's and the sun is rising and you overcasting the city mm -hmm. and we were gonna pull out on like a drone shot and you Danny radio broadcast. yeah and da Danny was gonna look in the city as you heard chaos going on in the city people coughing being sick and you're gonna hear a radio broadcast like the emergency broadcast system mm -hmm. is uh, and and you hear um Joe's dead body from yeah. Black Sun no and, and and you hear like police chatter and like we have they over here and the hospitals are full and. It was going to be chaos. Mm -hmm. Open ended, yes, but there was no way you can. Basically, we're making a prequel to Twenty Eight Days Later. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then now, which it's, it started out as a Black Sun sequel, which it's we don't know what it is yeah, now. We have is, Chris now doing. This is the new, basically the yeah. similar backstory, but yeah. a whole new film. Yeah, but it's a whole new film. It's if you want to say the constructs a lot. Similar. I compare it to okay. Well, Tim Burton once said when he made the I'm. Um, gonna say this i don't care who gets mad at me the 2001 planet of the apes okay. i thought was an okay movie i know i never signed not you oh, okay. i know people think it was terrible but i don't know i have a soft spot for it he said this movie's not a sequel to the 1968 one it's a spiritual successor, successor. yeah he said that yeah and we're kind of treating this movie like a spiritual successor well it's funny uh when i said spiritual successor to joe valenti he goes, why did you make up that word? I'm like, no. I'm like, no. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, Tim Burton made that no, word. no, no. It's it's a real word. No, but I would say th that's a good comparison. My comparison is you have Unbreakable, mm -hmm. and then you have Split. Split. Mm -hmm. It's in the same universe. Well, that turned out but to be it's the two sequel. Yeah, which is true. Well, this is kind of which true. Is true. Yeah. Right. But then they uh, they they're in two separate parts of the world. Same universe. Yeah. Same universe. That's my interpretation. I got Chris it. made different. Because mm -hmm. he's writing it. And the fans may differ. And the fans of it may differ. But yeah. So that's Wonderful. It. So Solid so hour. so do you want to get into the uh, the watch along, Jerry? I was about to yeah. say I think it's that time to make so, that uh, happen. So what's gonna happen now is is as you can see on the uh, camera, we're gonna have the uh, T V on. Um, we're gonna switch it over to Vimeo and, and we're you gonna get to see more of us. And we're gonna watch <laughs> it and we're just gonna do a director's count commentary. 
We're going to separate the director's commentary into another video, but we're going to keep it on this one. I'm going to have the audio version of the director's commentary. You can watch along, and I'll link the YouTube and Vimeo video on it. So You're you can explaining watch this it. a lot better than I thought you were going to yeah. do. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I tried explaining it to you beforehand, and I was I was stuttering up a storm. But uh, we're going to take we're going to take a quick break, and then uh, no sponsors. We're just going to take a quick break. And then uh, to set everything up. And then when we come back, we'll have a nice little watch along down memory lane for director's commentary. And then that'll be it for this episode of podcast. So stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. All right. So now we're back. There was low technical difficulties, but I was able to find a way to, to play it. So you did it right, Christian. Good um, job. On camera, I just want to say we didn't tape that second part. I forgot to turn the camera on. So the second part might just be audio only on the video, and then we came back and we're doing the video now. Play along. I will have the movie either playing, if you can see it on here, or playing on the bottom of the screen. But uh, we're going to do a nice little uh, commentary. And, yes. Uh, let's, uh, and that's the only thing I'm going to yeah. say. So, Jerry, if you want to press play. Perfect. And uh, we'll get started. And there's our old logo. We don't have it anymore? No, new one. I took credit for this quote. Believe only half what you see and nothing that you hear. Ian Oostick. <laughs> nah, Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. It's perfect for our movie. But it's, uh, thank uh, Ian for that one. Yeah, fits with the story. Oh my god. There's me in my, uh, in my, in my costume. Christian, can, can we turn the lights off? Do, I, I might no. actually feel scared. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I oh, bleed my blood. Oh. I really cut myself Oh, my there. mama. Yeah. I really cut myself. No, I'm kidding. No, that was, uh, the, the blood was on the knife. And that was, was actually my hand. Yeah. The blood. He had to drink his hand in the little shot. How did you guys get that slow motion shot? What did you do to make you it? You just slow it down on post. <clears throat> That's it. Just There's me rocking back and forth. We're taking credit for when this this exact shot. Oh, said, yeah. Like, raise her getting louder and louder as you walk down. And once you come out of frame, have her scream. Yeah, that was right that was the great Ian Ian moment. Yeah, black son, black son. And now you buy it. And then it totally cuts to <laughs> you playing time. the guitar. Oh you? my Jerry's god! This is Jerry's cameo. Hey buddy, we're closing. What'd you say? Hey Jerry, we're closing. Hey Jerry, we're closing. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> Jerry the uh, Jerry the guy. Jerry the Academy Award winner. I remember thinking Danny's shirt must be getting shredded. Oh, yeah. Because we did that take all for him. I really look like a mafioso bartender. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm oh, kind of proud of look. myself. You're rocking that oh, V-neck. Our favorite line in the movie. Make it two to go. Oh, my favorite As line. we're in a bar. He, he, he <laughs> uh, jokes sorry, about guys. it. <laughs> he, he jokes about her, which is hilarious. And how you edited it right here. Oh, yeah. It was a left. Oh, yeah, Just yeah. yeah. I didn't even mean it like that, but it, it, was, it was funny, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. It was good. I felt like this went on a little, a little too long. Yeah, but yeah. you learn. Yeah, what happened to you, Chris? <laughs> this is uh, what we couldn't find. I couldn't get here. Yeah, this, this is this is what we were talking about before with the um on on the podcast is that we couldn't figure out. We couldn't have Lee's Tavern for a little bit. We only had it for a little bit, so we had to improvise. And me breaking my one rule about throwing up. In a movie, we did it. I, I I hate that. It's either hurting animals or throwing up. Those are my two rules that I won't break. And that's uh. John, what the hell do you want from me? Hmm. I don't know. Keep open, right? We really made Danny into this like total oh, yeah. drunk. He played it pretty well. Yeah. Yes, he did. I told him not to sleep the night before. I don't think he did. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think any of us did. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely the anxiety was coming in for the day. Oh off. yeah, yeah. Cause I, cause I, I thought I. Oh, here's Joe Lanzi's cameo. Oh there you go, my Joe Lanzi's cameo. There you go. Look at that body. The, the mythical, the mythical Joe Valanti. Look at that six pack of beer. Yeah. Someone actually told me it seemed like the Da Vinci Code. I was like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get into why uh, Langan was named Langan. Uh, it's a little, uh, a little graphic. <laughs> <laughs> I had this idea that his wife was dead from like way, way back when. 
it works for yeah it works yeah, yeah. here notice how right when he gets out of the car you hear the airplanes yeah which is just annoyed the ever living shit what out of me day? Was it, just so it was some type of air show that was going on and it just annoyed the ever living shit out of me Thurzaz, which was from Halloween 6, which is the thorn, thorn which is the little symbol thing, you know, that was my little homage to Halloween. <laughs> I have to have that in every movie. <laughs> when he pulled out the paper, that would be so funny if it was the script for the lines. It's like, yeah, Thursday. I actually, no, I actually pulled that out from, like, uh, uh, Google. I just Googled, like, police reports. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, <coughs> uh, this is funny, because he couldn't. He doesn't smoke. Yeah. So he couldn't light the cigarette. So him making that and reaction. He's never inhaling. I know. Yeah. More and his reaction of like, hey, it never lit was like, literally. This is back when I smoked. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't inhale, you could tell. Yeah. That's why we hired you for it, so you could teach people how to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, I was a smoke supervisor. Yeah, you were. You smoke were, supervisor. You, you were a chimney. Yes, I was. Well, yeah. Nate and the other guy were also smoking a lot, too. Yeah. Yeah, which one between the two of them? Who do you think smoked more on set? Andrew. Andrew, Andrew. Andrew was a chimney. Yeah, he, he, it was like he would put, he would light on. Yeah, there's Kenny. Yeah, there's Kenny. That's still a great shot. There's it's Pauline a, and Andrew, the one, the one crane shot. Yeah, we'll use a crane for one shot. It took us like an hour to set up that crane. All right, it's a there's Victorian. And, uh, it's Andrew. a Victorian. Repeating all. It looks like his jail number. Okay. Williams 237. <laughs> that was Andrew. Oh, we had uh, we have a uh, little situation going on here. It's a, it's a wonderful Victorian. I, I love Andrew. I'm just. I'm, I'm just. just like, you got it. I, I just. I you know. It's just. I love Andrew. We wish you wanted to cast him as Langan. He he did a really good job. And then Mike. If, if Mike did, did not show up, he would have been Langan. So here is what you told him: Don't climb up. Yeah, this this is where I told him: Do 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 not climb up. And you can see the. You the, actually hear it. <laughs> you can see the difference between like the height of the uh, fire escape and where he was. The fire escape's way up there. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? Why'd you do that? Fire escape. The fire escape. I'm a fire escape. <laughs> You like timed it. Was oh, yeah. he watching it when he recorded it? Yeah, yeah, he he was watching it just to make sure like <laughs> Like my fear would be like right there. Like, yeah, yeah, right slips. there. I, I thought the thing was going to fall. Yeah, and, and then I think right I there. think you see him slip when he when he moves. And he's his back is And then there's Giuseppe on the left and, and my cousin, cousin Anthony on the right who's getting married. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, I'd be so nervous. Yeah, right, right here, you, he almost, that's, I cut it, but he almost slipped. Oh, man, that would have been bad. This whole scene just makes the whole movie. Yeah, this is the one yeah. scene that just, that, this shot right here. Uh, like, this is, this is what won us the award. Yes. Yeah. It's funny, I didn't realize. Um, I'm sure it wasn't my bartending. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Mike, it's acoustic. I didn't, I didn't real, and you, I didn't. Well, Chris always makes fun of the scene where it's like, no, they don't send two people, and they send you like. You also never explain how the two SWAT guys got up there. I guess. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, they just they climbed. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There's your cameo. Okay, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um. No, I forget. Oh yeah, Nicole. I'm mean, Nicole. What's your name? Um. Lauren, Lauren was downstairs actually screaming. Yeah. We were, yeah. We were all she was out. off camera. She's like, ah, off camera. See what's editing. The scene was going to be longer. Was we had multiple floors we were going to shoot on that he was going to search, and he was going to pick off every cult member, but we didn't have enough time mm. to shoot. Hmm. And there I go. I disappear. You disappear off screen. It's funny, like yeah, a couple get off people. Camera. What are you doing? Couple people tell me I was walking like a penguin. I didn't even like. Well, you were just walking like that. Yeah. You also, I think you flipped the knife as you're yeah, walking towards yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. This scene went on a little too long. I should have cut it. And there was Andrew going, I copy. You copy. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what it was? was that you didn't do enough cross coverage. Yeah, yeah. You, did, you kept it on one. Well, leg. this was towards the end of the, the, the day for this part, so I wanted to uh, just get out of there quick, mm -hmm. which was a kind of a bad decision on my part. Mm -hmm. I like the lighting on his face. Yeah. yeah. How long did it take to set up that shot? I don't know, but everybody was tired. I was just, I was dead. I think that's when I actually was upstairs at that point. Yeah. I, don't I, I think. I think. I remember was yelling at everybody to shut up. I think I sent Jerry back to your house because mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that he was there to like set everything up. Set everything up. Yeah. 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 This you could have like. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Cut it a little bit. Yeah. You could have. 
cut right yeah. to her. Off side. camera, this is Michael. It was like, oh, oh, oh look at all the uh, tying oh, off. Oh, yeah. which, which which one do I take first? Yeah, right. right. yeah, I'm laughing at the whispering. She should have ran away from him. <laughs> that was a good seamless cut, though. Yeah. I like that. They were cut to combs. Cut to combs. Yeah. The cut to combs in the building. Yeah. It literally was a maze down there. Yeah. There was. There, there were other rooms I wasn't. There was other rooms. Yeah, we weren't gonna. Oh, he kept messing up the line. It was it's Alice. Is it Alice? And he kept saying Allison. <laughs> and he goes, "No, I'm saying Alice is." I said, "But it's uh, coming off as Allison." It's the German accent. Yeah, it's the German. Well. You know, I, funny, I thought you this one. Feel, you can feel yeah. like the, the desperation he has, where he's like, "I need help," and it's like, "No, I'm done." I know that's what a lot of one of the reviews was saying. Like they really liked the uh, dynamic. The chemistry, between, they were oh, great. Yeah, they were really good. That's, that's why. A, that's why I wanted them back. Yeah, that's a nice tie. Yeah, it is. Nice. Was that a purple tie? I can't tell. Of course, Jerry would uh like the tie. Put the tie. I, I really did like how this was shot. I've always yeah. defended, like, the way you did this. Well, it's funny, because like the there, cause there was a... Uh, reason why there's no cutaways, because I couldn't find the footage. Yeah. There was there, there was footage missing. I was a very good PR person about if people questioned that. Oh, it's yeah. like, it had a nice sequence to it where it felt like it was more confrontational on Agent Lagan's side. <laughs> and then That's I'm like, I should go fuck myself after staying in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in this um, scene... Yeah. How long, how many takes did you do for this? A couple, a lot. Yeah. I know, and Nate and Andrew were starting to argue with each other, and I think it was, it was, it was the long, it was a long so day. about? Um, camera, something, uh, camera was overheating, yeah. batteries were dying. How were these two handling it? Great. They were pretty good. You can hear that damn airplane just pisses, know, just yeah. pissing me off. Yeah. What month was this? Damn it, the airplane. This was, this was August 24th, 2014. 2014. Yeah. Five no. days before my birthday. Yeah, yeah. This what, was this was. What did we do for your birthday that year? We did karaoke in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, that was. This was yes, last. I remember that. Yes. This was a week after we saw Lincoln Park. Yes. yes. Wow. The, like just a brief note on that. During that time, like when we did karaoke, I got twenty people to sing Tom Jones with me. Nice. Really? Yeah. I remember that for some reason. But it, yeah, is this your last word? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Mm. Whatever. There he is. There he is. 747. Okay, so, so, yeah, so, 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 now, did, you guys, did you guys set it that way? or, that, or? No, that's how it's. That's, oh, that's, that's the time we I shot it. I never even noticed wow. that. Wow. That's how we shot it. So basically, and you just put it in its morning. Yeah. Yeah. You got so lucky that yeah. the AM PM got guarded. Yeah, yeah seriously. Was that purpose? Did you, did you no, block I don't the AM PM? See, he's, he's, he's eating Tic Tacs. Yeah, I'm obviously. spoiling it. He's eating Tic Tacs. Only thing is, you're not really sure if this is morning or night. That's the point. Oh. Uh, no. Because it was night. Yeah. We you were changed, sure the, you changed the light out of that, right? Yeah, different yeah. light? Yeah, it was a different light. I thought this went, on, went a little too long, too. Like this, you could have cut. Yeah, like this, I didn't. You I, know, I know your mom was like, oh, smoking in the house. And you I'm didn't like, get a light. Did he even <laughs> light it? Uh oh, wait, I just caught something. What? Oh, there's no cigarette in his mouth. Yeah, but a little continuity error. He could have fallen out. Yeah, that's true. I love finding stuff How out did now. That one, just get that one shot. Did they have to move the camera yeah, and start it? Yeah. Yeah. That saved you that he put the cigarettes down, though. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It was funny because we were supposed to get a shot of the phone when when Agent Langan calls and he was supposed to say asshole on it. <laughs> I think he's getting married. Yeah, he is getting married. Who to an asshole? No, no. no. Oh, wow. I'm joking. <laughs> she's actually very nice. Oh, by she's the a way. great girl. No, yeah. she's really awesome. I I think no, you don't hear me here. My my second cameo. You hear Jared? You, I, no, is it, we hear your voice or my voice? For what? For when they? No, it's your voice. No, when um. Oh, the 911 operator yeah. was the emergency. Yeah, was, is that that's me or me. you? Well, that's you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, here here is where you hear mine. Yeah. 
I didn't know the FBI is that, is that the one two two priest thing. <laughs> well, I was there. Uh, that, that was his. Uh, lo- um, what's the word? You don't. Um, we didn't. It's, it's a big error, but yeah, yeah his, FBI agents aren't. No, precincts. his uh, his 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 extension. He was there yeah. working on a case. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. And that that's where he was uh, situated. Clever. Yeah. You could see how the iPhones looked a little different. They were fatter back yeah. then. It's only four years ago. I know. Well, I can't believe it's my iPhone you. 6s. Oh yeah. yeah seriously. Now we're up to the ten. Oh here here, here we, we go. go. Here here's here's me. Or Jerry. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah. <laughs> A little, little bit of uh, uh, trivia about Max Vigorito. Vigorito is my is my, uh, I think my my mom's aunt, last name, mm-hmm. maiden name or something. Yeah, it's Vigorito, so I took that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was cool. You set the story. We set the story up how he calls him. He's not home, and he feels guilty enough to go, to there. go there. And then, yeah, I'm always curious as to what happened next. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's sequel. <laughs> I want. I wanted him to shave his uh, beard, but uh, he didn't want to. I, I feel to... like it still fits his look. Yeah, though. I want to clean yeah. him up a little bit. Was anybody outside when you were filming this? Or no, because no? I don't. I don't remember. Th- keep in mind, like he was unemployed and stuff like yeah. that too. Mm-hmm. There's supposed to be more blood on him, but we couldn't. We couldn't. It was time constraints. Time constraints. Oh, you could see the blood better on this TV for yeah. some reason. You could see it clearly. The only good thing about this TV yeah. wasn't Jerry laying on the couch right across from us. I, everybody was sleep. I think Jerry was sleeping at this point. I was half dead. I don't even have that couch anymore. That couch you know, I went out that night after. Really? Was I there? actually went out like with a few friends. Like we were actually drinking, and then I still managed to get to the Lee's Tavern on time. Wow. Mm. Oh, that was the first night. And you hear a little change, which I think should have been. This was actually added in much later. Should have been a little louder, yeah. Yep. And then it ended. And then there you go. And then the whole part of the Seven Seal was it was going to take place immediately after. after kind, kind of like a kind of like a Halloween one, Halloween two type thing. Yeah, only the first Where, one's better. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> Let, let's yeah. see if Christian spell check has worked out for him. Yeah, because the real I'm, 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 I'm notorious for uh, <laughs> spelling things wrong. Uh, so far, so good. Atlanta. You sell You're me. there somewhere, Ian, because I know. You, I know. You, yeah. You, you, you like not there. Yeah, no, all I, no, all I saw was a thank you. Just story <laughs> by. Yeah, story about yeah. your union stick. Did you spell my name wrong? No. Special thanks to... Those are all the people that donated. At least that include a family used to family and you sell it. <laughs> the Uselli. You put Uselli wrong because Uselli is before you stick. Alphabetical order. I, 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 oh. Yeah, but it doesn't say alphabetical order. So oh, okay, ha-ha. that's true. So ha-ha. <laughs> and then here comes the... Uh... And then everybody when it, when it used like, to be next? when That's it used to be when it used to be Caputo right? Productions yeah. now it's Caputo, Caputo Collective. Collective yeah so yeah That's our movie So final thoughts before we close up Let's make a sequel We are yeah, <laughs> <laughs> So yeah so um that's that's was the latch along with the episode and uh I hope everybody enjoyed it. Jerry, you got anything to say before? Um... I say that I was the best actor in the movie and I want a main fucking part in the sequel <laughs> right now on camera. On well, camera. it's the bartender was the one that killed everybody. That's yeah, that's, that's, that's the play. He's actually the guy in the cult. The All right, I'll take back everything I right. said. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, so follow us on Facebook. <laughs> Instagram. At, at, at Caputo Collective. Uh, Facebook at uh, Collective Podcast. We're launching a website soon. Uh, more details about that later. Um... On Patreon, C- Caputo Collective, uh, the audio version you can find on uh, Apple, Apple Podcasting on your phone, yep. iTunes, Anchor. We're now on Over, Over, Overcloud, Overwatch, <laughs> something like that. Um, I'll figure it out later, and then I'll reattach it on. Sure, onto it's not a porn site. <laughs> yeah, uh, find us on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. We'll, we'll be dropping more content within the next couple of months. We're uh, we're developing more stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be getting a relaunch of Caputo in the Kitchen, Collective Podcasting. We got a bunch of other stuff that I've been mentioning on the other podcast. Jerry, where can they find you? They can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Craigslist, and most importantly, Craigslist. Ian? And you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so there, there you go, everybody. <laughs> Collective Podcasting, and uh, have a great, great week. Have a great week.